So previously we talked about video actions and their ability to kind of let you animate things. Let me throw that over there and smaller. And yeah, so you can do things like this where things animate. Uh, but you, what you may not be aware of are these video motion things. And these took me a second to understand, so uh, don't blame me for coming to this video to try to understand how these work. Basically, these are a more interesting way to do your animations. So I'm gonna to go to the video motion section. I'm gonna do an action just like I would have for the other video actions. I'm gonna throw this over here. And then when I do that, it's gonna play back exactly the same. And you're gonna say, why did I do that? What's the point? So what you can do is you can add an effect to it. And so you can add a spring effect. And so if I have that on, it kind of springs into place. And I think that was a little too much. Um, let's see if I make it smaller. Does that do it? No, that makes it actually much worse. <laughs> let's extend it. Uh, let's do that. And so you can kind of play with these and give it some, there we go. You can give it some weight, which is cool. So let me do that maybe. How does this look? Oh boy. Yeah, these. so you kind of have to really figure out <laughs> the uh, space and everything. Oh, that's. I, I keep going the wrong way. Uh, there we go. Let's try this one more time. I mean, it's, it's too much. It's absolutely too much. But uh, yeah, it's adding a little style to it. And again, this is the spring one. Uh, there's also pulse. Uh, so this one's actually totally insane. <laughs> um, so let me actually do just one pulse. Uh, let's do the frequency there and then the amplitude. Not much at all. So there you go. That's kind of cool. Actually, let me make it really small and then it'll just kind of look like it's getting a little bigger as it moves. That's kind of cool. And then it puts itself down so you can do pulse. And then there's gravity as well. And so this one might be a little weird, but it kind of drops and bounces into place, uh, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, let me uh, go there. Let's make it real long. And it's bouncing, 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 and going over there. <laughs> so you get some physics here. Uh, you can do some stuff with like squash, like maybe this will uh, make it actually get a little jello-y, so it'll get a little smaller. Um, you don't want to do too much there. Get the velocity up a little bit. There you go. So you can really play with these. This is actually not good at all. Um, let me go back to the pulse one. <laughs> I really liked that, kind of just growing a little bigger and then plopping itself back down. That's pretty cool. So you can do some little extra pizzazz on these animations than you can versus the regular ones in video. Uh, I usually stick to the video ones, but if you need something special, Video Motion can do that for you.